Hey, everybody, this is Two Boys, One Brain Cell. He's Joel Norton. And I got the brain cell. And I'm Chuck Beeson. Peace out. <laughs> and how did you get the brain cell here? I need you oh. out of my picture. That's what I'm saying. That was just me. I'm just taking over. It's one boy, one brain cell. I mean, fair enough, because <laughs> out. the song we're reacting today to today is Where I'm From by Jason Michael Carroll. And I have heard this song. We're getting to a little bit of country. Yeah. Because of our uh, Patreon. Absolutely. Shout out to you. 100%. Well, um, we've heard two songs. One I enjoyed. Yep. And the other one was like, me. Yeah. So, oh, no. I also heard one. You heard one off another album. Yeah, and that was good. That was a really good one. All the lies, right? Yep. Chuckles. Let's just jump right into this, bud. Let's get it. Let's see where this is going to take me. If you ever want me to stop, just let me know. <laughs> On a three-hour flight from Memphis to L.A. I was silently celebrating my first class upgrade. Laughing at my jeans and my boots. Beside those high-dollar shoes and our money suits. When the gentleman next to me said the drinks up here are free. So if you'd like the first one can be on me. He said I'm headed back from business in New York and Rome. Tell me son, where do you call home? I said I'm from the front pew. I think that's a good spot to yeah. stop it before we get too far Absolutely. into the second half of that song. So far, I'm digging it. Yeah. And while it is stereotypical. 100%. Yes. This is also, this is uh, our grow up, I guess, growing yeah. up in our area. This is something that you could this you is could relatable. resonate. This is very with. relatable, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I... I I notice they do this a lot in country music. What do you mean? They're having a conversation with somebody. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 almost storytelling. <laughs> it is. It's like, hey, me and the bartender. Yeah. <laughs> they do that a lot, yes. Which which is good, what about, you know, for me, because I love songs that are telling me a story in a way. What about and this that, old man and me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're always talking to somebody. A hundred percent. A hundred percent, yes. Shit. <laughs> I never noticed this until now. <laughs> You're not wrong. That's hilarious. It is. It does happen a lot. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's. Uh, but it's it, nice because it, it, it gives you that storytelling vibe too. First of all, it is a thing though. Yes. You know, you're like, well, I was talking to that guy at the bar, and uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That shit does happen a lot. So as much as I like to pick fun at it, it is it's a uh, it's realistic. Yeah. The, see, this is not the stereotypical. Normally, I have an issue with. It's where you're like, dirt roads. Cold trucks. beer, trucks, you know what I mean? You go down the damn list. Tobacco, you know, right? <laughs> and then you're like, okay, whatever. I mean, they still went down somewhat of a list. They talked about the, but it was all, like I said, relatable shit. Like at the beginning where you're talking about. small town shit. Small town shit. Yeah, that's very it, relatable. That's what this is more of. And so that I get better than you just listing off words and yeah. no No particular order. Yeah, they're like, 
dirt roads. You know, don't forget like, rain, it. trains, and mama. Oh dear God, trains. That is true, but that is also small town thing. So I'll give them a pass on that. All right, that's fair. I'll give them a pass on the train thing. There's nothing better than walking outside in the morning, hearing that in the distance. <laughs> Uh, it's some childhood <laughs> shit right there. It's like nostalgic, weirdly. I didn't grow up near railroad tracks, so uh, the nearest one all. for us was like almost a city over. But you could hear the son of a bitch. It was so loud. Yeah, I didn't have that. Let's the little. It. It's the little difference. It's little things. Yeah, it's little things. Hit it out west when I was barely nineteen, just a kid chasing my dreams. I'm flying out here to pick up my big brother. He's been fighting the cancer they discovered. But he called last night and said, I think this is the end. So come take me home to my family and my friends. Where the quarterback dates the homecoming queen. The trucks of Ford and the tractor's green. An amazing grace <laughs> that we sing. Well, there's a county fair every fall. And your friends are there no matter when you call. It may not sound like much, but it's where I'm from. And as we stood to claim. Checked. He said, I'll pray for your brother and did a mention that Italian suits haven't always been my style. See, I was the quarterback of my high school team. We took state back in 63 and my wife, but she's still my homecoming queen. That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> he had to bring up the trucks and the tractors, didn't he? I love how we just got done talking We're about like, it. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> you just got done bringing that part up. Uh, oh, it was gold. And the, I mean, he had me at County Fair. I'm, yeah. I'm a sucker for County yeah. Fair. Um, the, uh, no, all in all is good. Yes, it's, so, it's small town stereotypical, but it's, it's true. You know, yeah, but I do find it hilarious when songs like romanticize small town living. Yeah, but for every great thing on this list, oh, there's, there's a negative. There's a <laughs> there's a negative <laughs> for there's sure. A negative. <laughs> We're acting like the best damn thing in the whole world, but I mean, it is. It's it's hey, where, you, where you grew up. You know, you so. want decent dress clothes. Get ready to drive an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, this a, where, 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 where does this one fall for you out of curiosity uh flat eight flat flat eight yep jesus and it's already in a playlist wowzer bud i'm gonna go more with the 6.6 i think okay so 1.6 over average yeah enjoyable like i said it was stereotypical but it's not too stereotypical right it was it walked a fine line yeah small. this one is just so nostalgic Small town stereotypical is more likely to be up my alley than where you're just yeah. listening to a random, bunch of random bullshit like a lot of the mainstream country does. And, you know, I fall into Pop the category country. of you start talking about trucks and trains. I'm in. Trucks, tractors, let's go. Wow. <laughs> I listen to the stereotypes. You're, you don't even have a tractor. You're right. So how can you enjoy that? 
What? You I act think, like I, I've never I think you, driven tractors. Have you driven a tractor? Yes. I've never once seen you drive a tractor. It's because he's a fake country guy. <laughs> when's I'm the last? Him out. When's the last time you came and cut trees with me? You never right, invited then. me. Shut up. When's the last time you used a tractor while cutting trees? About a year ago. Oh, okay. Interesting. And I think I did invite you the one time. Did you? Yeah. You were busy doing something. I don't remember that. Yeah. Interesting. I'm still not taking back to your fake country. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I mean, he grew up in town, guys. Did I just lose my country card? <laughs> you lost your country card. Did, wait, didn't. Where'd you grow up? Like, what, uh, city wise? Like, what population? What population? Compared was it? to, like. It was a township. It was a township? Yeah. Okay. I'm not really familiar with the area that you grew up in. Um, I know where, where it's at. I Where I grew up um, used to be nothing but fields surrounding the trailer park I grew up in. Okay. And now it's no longer fields and the trailer park's gone. There's oh, Home right. Depots, Target. So now it is a city. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. But when I was growing up there, I remember the, there was a barn across the street, nothing but fields around mm-hmm. it. But now it's very, it's a shopping district. Yeah. For the most part, yeah. The town I kind of grew up in kind of basically had a tractor dealership. Yeah. A post office, a bank, and a bar. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Uh, this doesn't make a playlist. Uh, no, it makes a playlist. It makes a playlist. That it does make a playlist. I was like, I don't know why I just led with it, didn't, but it does. <laughs> this guy. I was still distracted thinking about small town shit. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, six six point. What did I say? Oh my god, I don't remember my actual rating for this, dude. I love this. I'm falling apart, guys. The heat's melted my. What feels right? Six point four. Okay. If that's different than what you said, six point six feels right. Playlist. Okay. Still flat eight, and it's already in a playlist. I've changed it three times now. (laughs) He can't make up his mind. I'm assuming the first one wasn't matching with the uh, second two. I have no idea. <laughs> You're not even any help. I, I don't pay attention to you. All righty, guys. If you enjoyed this reaction, if you, uh, me falling apart, do us a favor, hit like and subscribe. Come join our little community. Have some fun with us. Um, and until next time, we are two boys, one brain cell. Charles Beast and Joel Norton. Peace out. Peace. Shout out to our Patreon for the request. Oh, yeah.